it's time to do one of my very favorite things free little library hunting hi my name is Bean. welcome to my channel mama needs to read romance and also book hunt in some free little libraries I was waiting to do another free little library book hunt until it snowed. I really wanted to do that this winter and it appears that where I am in the midst of the East Coast, there is not going to be snow this winter. So I picked a nice warm day instead. It's beautiful, there's a light breeze. Definitely sweatshirt weather. I am excited to peruse some free little libraries with you during this beautiful winter day. Let's do it. What a cute path. There I am. <laughs> oh, Billy Crystal still fooling him. I bought that on audio. Oh, Lorraine Heath, Duchess Hunt. I own that already, actually. Jojo Moyes. Is that how you pronounce her name? I heard that was sad. I don't think I'll grab that one. Fleeting Fancy. That looks like an old school romance right there. Ah, <laughs> oh, Bridgerton, I have that one too. Robin Carr, my goodness, this is a lot of romance here. I'm not sure I'm a Robin Carr fan, so I'm gonna leave that for another person. Ooh, How I Discovered My Inner Italian, that sounds intriguing. Ooh, this looks promising. 3.92, hmm. Oh, that looks suspenseful. Oh, book four of Falling Kingdoms. I'm not familiar with that. Oh, here comes more romance. Oh, I have that one too. <laughs> oh, Debbie Maycomber, The Inn at Rose Harbor. That sounds like it could be good. 3.94. Oh, books are falling. Oh, I have that one too. Wow, I have a lot of these. <laughs> oh, there's another Robin Carr. I was really tempted, but ultimately decided to pass those up. Maybe I'll regret it later. Let me know if you think I need to go back. But now, onward and upward. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Oh, it's precious. I've got to see the other side. Oh, little bookworm, so pretty. Oh, oh, The Terminal List. My dad loves that show. Maybe I should grab that for him. Oh, Scaredy Squirrel. That's a family favorite. <laughs> the whole series. Oh, Austin Land, Shannon Hale. I didn't know this was a book. Oh my gosh, I am grabbing that right this second. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, Judy Bloom. Who's my Judy Bloom fans out there? That's a new cover, I think. Oh my gosh, I'm so tempted. I want to take all the kids' books. We have so many at home already. With a nine, six, and three-year-old, we are full of books. <laughs> oh my gosh, Pinkalicious! Mm, I'm gonna try to not, I don't know. I don't want to take all the books. This is mostly kids here, Pinkalicious. Oh, and Fancy Nancy, are you kidding? My three-year-old daughter is going to lose her mind. Okay, I have to get these. The Posh Puppy. Can I even tell you how excited I am about this book? This is one of my favorite movies in the whole world. I watch this if I'm not feeling well, or if I'm stressed, or if I just want to veg out. And sometimes I watch it and then I just rewatch it again. But I had no idea that it was a book and I'm so excited to get this. So now I have books that I need to switch to put into the free little library. I'll show you at the end which books I wound up putting in. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, look how beautiful. And she's reading. How cute. Oh, we've got some Christmas ribbon on here still, I think. This adorable little house here. Lessons in Chemistry, Bonnie Garmus. Interesting. This looks like it could work. Oh my gosh, trigger warning, sexual assault, traumatic death, references to post-child sexual abuse. Wow, that was nice of them to put that there. And the rating is 4.37, holy cow. Pretty Things, I think I've heard that's a thriller, not quite for me. And then a couple more books up here. This actually is still being sold as some of the most popular racks. So this is a recent publication, I believe. Originally $29, by the way. This was published in 2022, so very exciting. setup that these guys have created a little bench and there's actually more than one free little library okay so it looks like grown-ups and little kids oh my gosh there's a little bee a little oh my gosh this is so cute I love the colors they even have like uh, the special roof oh my heavens this is amazing wow I love these colors okay we've got the grown-up section here Man, these are some serious books in here. Wow. The Bright Continent, Breaking Rules and Making Change in Modern Africa. Wow. Oh, The Devil Wears Prada. I've heard so many things. I've never read it or seen the movie. I need to do that. I'm sure I can get a copy through my library <laughs> with how popular it is. I probably don't need to own it. Look at all these great titles. Mystic River. No idea what that is. Wow. These people have good taste. And then here it looks like we have maybe upper elementary, bigger kid books. Hmm, that looks familiar for some reason. Kingdom Keepers 2. Wow, nice variety here. Okay, now we'll pop in here and see. I'm gonna try not to take any of these because as I said, we have so many little kid books. Oh, Valentine. Uh, we own this one, actually, I think. It's February when I'm filming this, so we were just reading that. Look at how cute that cover is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm holding, I'm having restraint. I'm having restraint. <laughs> Not easy. What a cute free little library, ugh. I may really regret not getting the Devil Wears Prada. Oh well, moving on. Okay, bamboo for one thing. <laughs> Not native to our area. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous. Again, this this is like my favorite color. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh my, oh, Bridgerton. Starting off with a bang here. Jodi Picoult, I just nabbed one of hers in a book haul. House of Seven Gables, Hawthorne, I love Hawthorne. Into the Water, Paula Hawkins. I tried to read that and it was too scary. <laughs> Obviously, I have a lot to say in this one. Oh my, oh, look at these titles. Oh my gosh, Present Over Perfect. Are you kidding? That is one of my favorite books. I've read it so many times. I've listened to it. It's one of those game changers that really helps you just live in the present moment. I just loved it. Oh, and Glennon Doyle. Interesting, that was before she divorced. I read Untamed and man, was that a good book. 
pop those back. Let's see what's down here. Oh, something blue. I loved that book. Duke, actually. Oh, and the Heart Principle. I just got that the other day at a used bookstore. What is this? This looks Christmassy. And oh my gosh, let's see what the score is. 3.88. I'll take it. Oh boy. What else do we have here? Looking at the hot pink, my ideal boyfriend is a croissant. That sounds good. <laughs> Maybe mine is too. Let's see what the score is. The rating is 3.35. Oh, that's probably not so good. What else do we have here? Oh, the proposal. Oh, it looks like baseball, rom-com. Oh, let's grab that. That'll be perfect for spring. Instructions for dancing. Oh, this looks romantic. I love the cover too. What is the score on this one? Rated a 4.01. Oh boy, I'm gonna nab that. Elizabeth Taylor, Mrs. Palfrey at the Claremont. That looks interesting. 4.01. Alex plus Ada. Okay, I looked into this. It is like sci-fi. It's not romance. I thought it was initially. 3.96. It's a graphic novel. And, um, you know, it's interesting, but I don't think it's for me. If it was romantic, maybe I'd probably go for it. But this, I mean, it's supposed to be interesting. The Babysitter. That is a thriller. That's all kinds of interesting. <laughs> not my taste, but that's just me. Wow. These are really nice books in here. Linda Howard. Well, I am beyond excited. I didn't realize this person also wrote The Wedding Date, which I've heard good things about. So I'm really excited about that and a baseball book for the spring. Anything that reminds me of love, actually. Oh my gosh. And I didn't realize this was a YA, but I'm actually looking to do a YA try a chapter challenge soon. So this will be perfect. So much fun. That was even more successful than I thought. Now I need to go back and return some books and I, these are the ones that I've grabbed. So two here, I actually want to give a shout out. A lovely publishing company reached out to me. This is books one and two of the Lady McLock series. It's got really good reviews. It wasn't for me, but if you are interested in Highlander romance, this might be great for you. It takes place in the past and in present day. It has to do with a curse that carries into the present and Scottish lore. He was a member of the Royal Air Force. So if you like that, this might be for you. I'm going to be popping these in a free little library, hoping somebody really appreciates them more than I was able to. I'm sure they will. Also, I don't know that I feel the need to own Christina Dodd. So I'm going to pop this in a free little library so that I don't run out of space. Sorry, Wilder, you gotta go. Same goes for Lindsay Sands. I was listening to one of her Argino books the other day, giving it a whirl, and it did not seem like my cup of tea. I had these two vampire books, and so these are going to be going back into these free little libraries. And last but not least, I hope somebody can enjoy this in the month of March. I've perused it, and it is not for me, but hopefully someone will enjoy some Irish romance. Well, that's it for me. I had so much fun, and I hope you did too. I hope that I see you next time. I'm looking forward to doing another free little library hunt this spring, which is coming up. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're enjoying whatever it is you're reading, whether you got it at a free little library or not. Until next time, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.